I don't know if the world knows that Nikon has released a new firmware 1.6 for its Nikon Z62 camera right here and that is amazing this is this is what I have been waiting forever you know there's no hardware changes for Nikon Z62 and we can't expect any such things like hardware changes to increase the AF speed or processing power but what Nikon is bringing to the table into the camera <laughs> is so amazing because they have increased the usability of the camera to such an extent that I'm really happy to continue to use this camera henceforth. The primary use case scenario of my camera is to record videos and also to time lapse a lot and here for those two purposes, I think uh, Nikon has made the greatest improvement ever in any of its Z cameras. So hear me out. 1.6 firmware update is bringing us warm display colors and a red record frame indicator around this display, right? To indicate that, hey, I'm recording video. This is something that's there right now in every hybrid cameras from all the brands. And I'm happy to see that coming to Nikon Z6 II as well because I primarily use it to record videos and to time-lapse. Warm display colors is the red display. Panasonic had it in its Panasonic G9 you know, like four year old camera, four or five years old camera. And that is just like a micro four thirds camera. This is a full frame camera. And now Nikon has decided to bring it in for us to time lapse at night. So once you go into menu, uh, so you have the setup. And then, so usually when you enter the setup menu, it will be shown. Press the up button and uh, you will be taken to this firmware version once you have everything over there okay, just click update current version is 1.5 and the new version is 1.6 yes do not turn off the camera during the update it's pretty straightforward and also i like this implementation of orange or yellow to green which is very nice so we're going to check these changes that are uh, made to this camera Z62 update version 1.6 is amazing. Okay, update completed. Turn off the camera. All right, let me turn it on now. Let's see what is the version. So to check the version, I'm going to menu. And then let's see. From, oh, oh, did you see that? So it has added one more page to the menu. That's amazing. Okay. For, Firmware version 1.6. Okay. Now, since I've already done it, I don't need to do it again. And, okay, that's amazing. I'm going into setup. Okay. Now, from here, I'm going into D10. So, shooter display, warm color display. Wow, okay. Off. No, I don't want that. So... But I don't know why they have it. Mm. Ooh, did you see that? Did you see that? Holy moly. Did you see that? This mod is absolutely amazing when it comes to night time-lapse photography. When it's absolutely dark, it doesn't strain your eyes. This is amazing. A very welcome addition. Thank you, Nikon, to make this addition. Uh, I really appreciate it. This is fantastic. Ooh, the one I'm excited about is G. G7. G7. Yeah, baby. Here we come. Ha 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 ha. On. Let's test it out. Okay, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna start recording. Wow! Yay! <laughs> I got the red color here! I got it! I got it in Z6 too. Thank you, Nikon. Now, this is amazing. We have the time code as well. I have it enabled. Most people don't use it. I don't use it either, but good to have it when in case you use it. 
make sure that you upgrade to this firmware this firmware also fixes a uh, drop brightness sometimes occur in part of photographs taken using flash in some cases the ok button could not be used to interrupt the interval timer or focus shift photography when the viewfinder was used you know i never knew that we can do focus shift photography using z62 i usually had some issues with uh, interval time shooting if i click on ok it doesn't work there are sometimes I'm facing a lot of issues uh, with this camera. It's not like the perfect camera ever, but I think Nikon is working on fixing those issues as well because even though this camera has been released several years ago, Nikon is not forgetting the fact that it's still a Nikon camera. It's still a prosumer Nikon camera. Many of Nikon users shifted from uh, D750 to Z62 for the same reason that hey, I need an upgrade, I need a smaller camera, I need a lens that is not making any sound and it's just working perfectly for both video and photo. And they're all professionals, like even, even me, like today I'm going to a professional photo shoot, so I set up my camera and I'm so happy to report to the world that please go and update your camera right away because number one, it's fixing the issues that you might be facing using the Nikon Z62 camera. Number two, you'll be delighted if you're going to shoot videos professionally or even for YouTube. You will be delighted to know that this is bringing in the red record frame. Nikon Z62 is just a fantastic beast and it's become more, more fantastic right now. Thank you, Nikon, for not forgetting us professionals in using such cameras. And, and it's great to be a Nikon user again. It's not like I haven't been contemplating purchasing a Sony camera, switching from Nikon to Sony. Okay, see, Sony is bringing in a lot of autofocus functionality. Sony is bringing in this, Sony is bringing in that. But by the end of the day, I always feel Nikon is bringing in a lot more for the same price without making us think that, hey, should I buy this A6700? Uh, sorry, A6700. Uh, or... Should I go for FX30 or should I just, you know, go for a full frame for the same price? And it's like millions of options out, out there for Sony. And Nikon is like, hey, come on, have your Z8 and this is all you need. I'm like mind blown. You know, my next camera is going to be Z8. And I'm really happy to review that because first of all, there are a few things that is lacking in Z62. Uh, number one is the internal log recording. You need to connect Z62 to an external monitor to have this end log functionality which I was really hesitant to purchase it because you see this is already bugged up all right and holding it is like holding a two kilo beast in the hands all the time when you're shooting anything like you need two hands to hold it. Uh, on top of that if there is an external recorder it's gonna be too much for me but they're giving it in Z8 like wow Wow, an internal log coding? An internal raw recording? Oh my god, Nikon, you, you are putting everything in your cameras and I just love it. Don't, don't lose your philosophy like this, like this is something that is just there in Nikon right now. Don't, don't lose it, all right? This is your age. Remember, this bringing in everything in just one camera and giving us, hey, this is what you need. Yeah, it's all there. You don't need to go for another camera. You don't need to be confused. And thank you for doing that because this is a prosumer. While that Z8 is like pro prosumer, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's having everything. And I don't need to be confused. Okay, if I need that, that's the only camera I can go for. And I'm happy with that. If I need something like a bigger battery or a bigger form factor, or I need something, you know, professional looking, I can go for a Z9, of course, but uh, Z8 is more than capable and I think it's more convenient and it's the right choice to make at this point of time. And so I'm definitely going for a Z8 upgrade, but I'm still keeping the Z62 forever. Why? Because it's got the greatest time-lapse capabilities ever and I just purchased this battery grip for time-lapsing all the time. I'm really happy to keep using this Nikon Z62 and I'm really happy that Nikon is not forgetting us professionals using the Z62 all the time and so uh, thank you for bringing this new firmware upgrade 
to all of us Nikon Z62 users. And I am really, really excited to keep using it. And so, um, yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs>